We are strangers. Oprah rejected Harry's offer for a collaboration on Duke's solo Netflix project in South Africa. According to a report, Oprah Winfrey is coming to South Africa, appearing during the first conference hosted by Oprah Winfrey. Leadership Academy for Girls, all vlog, called What Happened to You? A understanding the impact of trauma on learning, teaching, and psychological functioning. The day-long event features renowned leaders in education for a day of inspiration, taking place on the 21st of July at the Gallinger Convention Center in Midrand. As a response, Meghan allegedly forced Harry to speak to Oprah about a possible connection between her program and the Duke's Netflix project in South Africa. Meghan appears to believe that the Sussex couple's explosive interview with Oprah helped make Oprah more famous, and that if they work together again, it would be even more renowned. However, Oprah entirely dismissed the couple's plea, prompting the Sussexes to transform into clowns in Montecito. It came after Meghan Markle and Prince Harry decided to step down as senior members of the royal family and move out of the UK. Royal watchers all over the globe seem to become obsessed with the new information about what really caused the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to make such a huge change. Moreover, many people wanted to know more about what Meghan and Harry's plans were for the future. It didn't take long for the iconic talk show host Oprah Winfrey to land an interview with a couple. According to the Los Angeles Times, more than 17 million people tuned in to watch Harry and Meghan's first interview post Megxit. And while Winfrey may have been known for the interview was going to be a big deal, she didn't really expect it to be a bombshell. I was surprised by the bombshell as everybody else. I was doing an interview to offer them a platform to tell their story and why they left. And that was my number one intention was just clarity on. Why did you leave? Winfrey told her longtime friend Gail King on CBS Morning in September 2022. Some of the things that were revealed in the interview came as a surprise to me, and those surprises are now referred to as bombshells. But I did not set out for a bombshell interview, Winfrey said. Indeed, Winfrey was taken aback a number of times during the interview with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Oprah Winfrey undoubtedly saw a big opportunity when it came to interviewing Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, but she never expected them to be as open as they were. In fact, after the interview aired, Winfrey admitted that she was surprised by some of the things the couple said. I had no idea that it would have the reverberating impact that it has had and continues to have. Our shared intention was the truth. They wanted to be able to tell their story and tell it in such a way that allowed them to be truthful as possible. She told Nancy O'Dell on Talk Shop Live according to Deadline, the reason why it was such a powerful interview was when you have somebody else who is willing to be open as vulnerable as truthful as they were, Winfrey added. One of the most surprising parts of the interview for Winfrey was when the Duchess of Sussex explained that there was a question about her unborn baby skin color. Who is having that conversation? With you? What? Hold up, hold up, Winfrey said during the interview via The Independent. Meghan and Harry chose not to reveal the name of the person behind those conversations, with Meghan telling Winfrey, I think it would be very damaging to them. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle opened up about the interview with Oprah Winfrey on their Netflix documentary. That interview, it was less about setting the record straight than at least filling in the blanks that other people were filling in for us. The more distance that came between us having a smaller role with the institution coming over here, the more of a vacuum was being built. People just genuinely didn't understand why we left, Megan explained, per Harper's Bazaar. She also noted that she thought that people were focused on her struggle with depression and was a little surprised that the issue about race was a bigger takeaway.